and welcome to Select Motors Doncaster. Today I'm going to present to you this beautiful 3 Series BMW 320D in black in an estate as well. It is a lovely looking M Sport as you can see. It's the LCI model, the facelift. It's got a lovely, lovely look to it. It's also got a media uh, business media pack guys as well. So it's packed with all the toys. I'll show you the interior in a second. Now I do apologise but for the past three weeks I've tried to get some nice weather in but it's been raining so uh, but as you can see the water beads off nicely i can assure you that the vehicle is in a very good condition and the mileage of that car is absolutely stunning it's just over 52,000 miles on a car that's on the 59 plates as well this rarely happens on the market guys so make sure if you are in the market for one of them vehicles uh, get your hands on it quick because i don't think she's going to be here for long uh, looking at the front end of the vehicle everything was absolutely fine uh, the front bumper uh, is really good the wing on the driver's side really nice now we've decided to change the colors of uh, the alloys uh, in gray because it, i think it just sets off the car quite nicely um, as you can see the driver's side door looking really good nice and straight lines throughout passenger rear also good nice privacy glass and a shot through uh, the whole side really good looking vehicle guys now if you look at the uh, the rear alloy again nice perfect condition going towards the back of the car 320d badging it's a really really gorgeous example rear bumper also looking great it's got parking sensors in the back as well helps you with the parking aid and the dual compartment boot which i'm going to show you in a minute as well lovely car now going towards the rear quarter panel Everything, as I've mentioned, looks nice and straight. Roof line, really good. Going towards the third wheel, also nice. All good tyres round, guys, as well. Plenty of tread. Good MOT history and everything. Two keys with it. It's a really, really gorgeous example. Very, very low miles, as I mentioned before. And the fourth and final alloy, again, looking great. So, yeah, that will be the, uh, the quick exterior walk around let's have a look inside of it now so then we are now behind the wheel of this beautiful 320d m sport what i'm going to do depress the clutch and get the car started at the time of filming the current mileage is 51999 as you can see just here it's a really really low mileage all uh, backed up by the documentation so it's 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 really nice and genuine as you can see you've got the media a uh, business media pack which comes with the screen it does have sat nav as well uh, which is great and it also got the uh, the bluetooth system so you can actually connect your phone now the bluetooth system as far as i'm aware is just for uh, for your phone calls uh, so i don't think you can actually uh, listen to the music from it uh, there might be some uh, aftermarket options about uh, available to uh, to get it going but uh, as far as i am aware according to my knowledge it's just to uh, to make the phone calls really but uh, yeah it looks looks really good Underneath you're going to find two massive vents, you've got your hazards, your traction controller, your lock, locks in there, obviously the start button is just on that side. You also got heated seats in the front, uh, which is really good. Uh, climate control as you can see, aircon standard and the stop start system uh, just below. Ashtray, a six speed manual gearbox, really nice, you are fully in control in this vehicle. Um, nice manual handbrake and your iDrive system is just located slightly below the uh, the gear lever. In the armrest you'll find a telephone preparation and you've got the auxiliary exit and another 12V socket in there. So let's get back to the steering wheel. On the steering wheel itself what you're going to find is the volume control settings and the phone settings on the left hand side. Uh, you're skipping the next track um, on the right hand side and on the levers on the left hand side this is your trip computer as you can see you just can flick through the modes in the screen over there obviously it does have indicators as well um, it is a bmw but listen they are working so there's no excuse please use them um, so that's a uh, a very very expensive extra from bmw as far as i'm aware no, just a joke there guys but obviously you know what i mean it also got the uh, automatic uh, rain sensor and um, so if you uh, press that button the windscreen wipers go on automatically so you don't have to worry about that one whatsoever which is great and being a business media edition as well you do have your cruise control in there so for your longer journeys it's absolutely perfect lights are also automatic 
as you can see, so all you need to do is just flick them in the auto mode um, and uh, just forget about that they, they exist because they're going to do half a job for you. Uh, all four electric windows, child lock in there as well, um, electrically foldable wing mirrors, which is also good, especially if you park on the road. And obviously these are electrically adjustable as well. So yeah, that's behind the wheel. Let's have a look at the interior itself. So starting off with the uh, front door, the driver's side door, everything looks all right. A few little scratches there, not too many blemishes on that end to be fair for. The car of that age, I think she's really nice. Nice and premium touch, aluminium sill with an M-Sport logo. Being an M-Sport seat, you can actually adjust the tightness of the, uh, the bolsters on the side. So this is a nice, nice little function there. BMW seats are absolutely amazing, guys. Do apologize for all them spots here, but it's been raining half the day today. So uh, we get it really clean anyway before, before someone takes it. Nice and good quality leather on the seats. Uh, barely any signs of wear the only thing you're gonna see is just slight, slight little wear on that bolster but there's not like massive cracks or anything like that so I think it's acceptable for, for a car that's on a 59 plate and going to the rear so just behind the driver the door card looks really good electric windows as you can see nice undamaged untouched back nice bit of uh, aluminium trim in there lovely looking car mats as you can see and the seats in the back are immaculate, really. They're really, really nice. Nice black leather throughout. You've also got a nice little armrest in the middle for your passengers in the back. And two cup holders so they can have a pint or two in the meantime. Being a practical estate, practicality in this BMW is really, really nice. If you just want to do a quick shop and drop it off, there you go. You just open the top section off the... Uh, off the boot and the job's done but if you want to it more traditional way you pull it up we have got a full boot in there nice little pattern that i like that i think i'm gonna keep this volatile let's hope let's hope he's gonna behave but yeah massive massive boot uh very spacious uh perfect for a week in the way um, and this one's also got a nice little roll in the back and the past shelves obviously here as well so yeah on uh, on the boot itself nice and practical so tick and now that brings us to the third door card. As you can see, the uh, rear passenger side, rear near side, looking really, really good. Nice little premium feel of leather throughout. Um, you also got a nice integrated speaker in the door card. The passenger side uh, seat from the back looks good. You've also got vents for the uh, for the rear seats in two 12V sockets. So if you want to charge your kids' iPhones and anything like that, it's really, really good. Nice and practical. Do not forget this vehicle also comes with the Isofix mounting points as well. So it's a very, very practical vehicle. I've got a child seat myself, quite a big one, and it fits in here very well. So yeah, as an estate, definitely, definitely nice and practical. We are now looking at the uh, the final door. Again, nice little premium touch to it. Uh, really, really nice soft leather, undamaged, very good condition. Um, so yeah, definitely something, something worth looking at. Again, a lovely M Sport badging on the uh, sill itself uh, and the passenger side, front seat, really looking well, nice and clean, good leather, there's no wear, anything like that, really, really looks good for its age. Now, this vehicle obviously comes with a warranty, guys, three months as a standard, um, you can extend it up to 36 months as well, so all of our cars are... Um, are equipped obviously with the with the warranty from them for for at least three months currently there is an offer for a 12 months package as well so if you are interested please let us know two cup holders one here one in the middle which is good a decent sized glove box as well so yeah really really nice and that'll be it for the interior so let's have a look at the outside again now this brings us to the final walk around uh, of this 320d m sports as you can see the lights are now on uh, these are just the daytime running lights, the angel lights, angel eyes as you can call them. Looks very nice and mean, I'm going to say. Uh, but yeah, finishes off the car quite nicely. They also got the Xenons as well, so it's a, it's a really, really nice example. Uh, like I said, currently on the market with the Estates, there's not many of them about, especially with that sort of mileage, guys. So make sure if you are in the market for one, please hurry up because uh, I don't think it's, it's going to be here for long, especially with that mileage on as well. Uh, nice LED lights in the back as well as you can see and as I've mentioned before it does have parking sensors in the back um, So yeah, the car is available. You can finance it. You can buy it outright. We take a part exchange as well 
warranties included. She's got two keys, decent MOT tests on it. She's service of current mileage. Happy days. What what can you actually ask her more on that car? So thank you very much for watching the video. Um, if you want to get in touch with ourselves, please call on the number that I can see just above or at the end of the video. Uh, and feel free to ask any questions and hopefully see you soon so you can drive it away. Thanks for watching it again, guys. See you later.